from Hamburg Acres. I got this sweet little project going here for all you crafty welders out there. Um, I saw this on uh, Pinterest and I thought, you know what, I got to make one of those. So you know how when your wife goes to those uh, craft fairs and uh, spends a hundred dollars on something like this, uh, this will this will save you some money because this is about twenty bucks worth of stuff to make this thing. So what this is is a wine rack. Okay, made out of horseshoes. And it's a very simple, easy project to put together. So I picked up these horseshoes. Um, Amazon has them. Um, Amazon has sandblasted ones, which is really what you want. These are not sandblasted, but they were out of stock when I was looking for them. So I found another company that sold them. They were $1.98 a piece or something like that for these horseshoes. So you're using uh, 10 horseshoes, so that's about 20 bucks um, to make this, this project. And a little piece of couple pieces of rod which are pennies on the dollar for the rod um, but what happens with these here there's a there's a front and a back so on this on this front side here you can see up here there's a little bit of scale left over from from the uh, casting process when they cast these these are cast steel um, and you get a little more on the back it's a little heavier here around the around the holes and stuff so you're going to need to grind that off a little bit or uh, wire brush it off. And uh, it's not too hard to do. Um, if you have a sandblaster, the sandblaster works great. Um, I don't have a sandblaster, so I've been sanding them by hand. Um, but you need to get that off of there so that when you paint it, it's not going to just chip off when they bump it or something. So you got to get most of that off of there. Um, but Amazon carries them sandblasted. They just were out of stock, so I didn't buy them that way. Just so you know, they were a little more. They were $2 and something a piece. Um, so anyhow, you need 10 of these. And we're just going to lay them out here in this pattern. That's our pattern, five-piece pattern. So you're going to have a, a front one and a back one. And on the model, I have the fronts to the front. And then I weld it on the back sides here. And uh, that's how this would be sitting on your kitchen cabinets um, with the front showing. Um, that way nobody sees the welds and whatever that you're putting on there. So I just line these up to the bottom of my board here. Just using a scrap piece of shelving here so that you can see this better. You can hopefully you have a metal table or something that you would normally do it. Um, so you're putting them, you're putting them face, the good face side has this groove in it, so you're putting that down, and you're weld, welding on the backs. So you want to put them together, so they're all kind of touching, right at that point there, here and then on the tip here, and then we're just going to put some clamps on there. If you're, if you're off a little bit, one way or the other, it's not going to hurt it any. Not going to hurt it at all. all. Right, so I got them all clamped down. Just going to throw on the welder and uh, put a little bead of weld on it, each one of them seams. Remember to always have your gear on. about that simple. So I'm putting a, not, not even an inch of weld there probably. Um, and then just a, a tack here and a tack here. And then another inch up there. And now I gotta grind that off, get that so that it's flat. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna drill, drill a hole at each one of these intersections here. And that's how I put the rod through there. Um, so I'm going to weld up the other set and uh, I'll show you how we drill the hole. So 
I'm just using my four inch grinder with that cutoff wheel on it. Uh, this works pretty good. It cuts through the weld real nice. And then I come back later, I'll put the sanding disc on here and uh, I'll sand off the backs. I just sand it off nice and flush. So I got that all ground off. I'm going to switch over to the uh, sanding wheel now. So this is a 24 grit um, sanding disc. They're not really made for these uh, 4 inch grinders and there may be some out there that are made for it. But uh, I think they're made for more of an air grinder. But I adapted it. I made a little collar and um, they work pretty good on here. The, the, when they're new, they're kind of they're kind of stiff and they they kind of rub a little bit. But So I'm grinding it off. I'm getting most of that scale off and stuff, and then the, the paint will stick better. Um, you're also going to have a lot of BBs, and they just they just break off. You just go around with a little screwdriver or something and just pop them off. They 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 pop right off. Now on the front side, I don't want to use the grinder on there because I don't want to damage the shape at all. So I'm using this wire wheel that goes on my grinder here also. Now this doesn't work as good as the grinder. This, you're going to have to work at it a little bit to get some of that scale off with this thing. But it'll still leave a nice finish. It won't, uh, it won't scratch it up and gouge it like the uh, grind, like a sander will. <laughs> There you go. You can see the difference. That took me about five minutes of sanding on that one. You know, you can see that all the scale is off it now. So the paint will stick, it'll look real nice. Well, only nine more to go. So I start with the one that's going on the back. And I just put a mark right in the center of that seam where I want that hole to be for that rod to go through. And the one on the back, I drill all the way through. And then I use that one as a guide to dimple the one on the front. So the one on the front, the rod doesn't come all the way through, it's just dimpled on the back side. And, uh, and then I weld it in place. So my bit is a 5 16 spit. My rod is 5 16 diameter. So that makes a perfect hole for that rod to go through. So I'm drilling that hole straight through, comes out the other side, and then the rod will go through that. So now what I do is I just clamp the two together and I use the, the hole on the back side to go into the back side of the other one. And I'm just going to dimple it. Okay, so it's just, it's just about halfway through. So now I take that top piece off and I got a little dimple there and I'm going to continue drilling but I don't, I don't want to break through the front side. Okay, I just want to just dimple it enough that that rod will go in there and I got to kind of to locate that rod and then I'll just weld around it. You'll start seeing, you probably can't see that on the camera, but you'll start seeing the crack open up there. 
But when you look at it from the other side, you can't see it. That's all the deeper you want to go with that. So here's a little trick for the rods. I'm taking the, the one that has the hole all the way through, the pattern that has the hole all the way through. I'm just I'm just drilling holes through my board here, my scrap, my scrap piece of wood. I have some holes in there from the previous one I did, but they don't line up because I'm just eyeballing the holes in here. So seeing it's a scrap piece of wood, you just make another set of holes. So now you want that rod to be just recessed, just a little bit, so your weld fills in the hole, and then when you grind it off, you're not uh, you're not grinding off your all your weld. All right, so those are welded on there good. Now I'm going to take and uh, just grind that off again. Great, here you go. So that's what the back side looks like. Just little round welds there left over. And then on the front side it looks nice and clean. Okay, you don't got no welds or anything. A couple of BBs I gotta clean off, but now we're just gonna take this and set it down into the other into those dimples we made. Set it into them dimples, and then we're just going to weld around them, them dimples. I get kind of crazy with my welding. I weld all the way around the. I weld all the way around the rod and I just get grind a little bit of that off. Um, you probably wouldn't have to. This would be a nice project for a TIG welder. You wouldn't have the spatter and stuff. It would work really good. Um, so now I'm just going to clean it up. And uh, what you want to do is just going to have a little rock to it. So you're just going to you just going to bend it. You know, you just give it a little twist. Until it gets till you get it sitting flat on a table before you paint it up so that's it clean it up give it some paint um, if it weren't for the grinding and the sanding and all that stuff this would probably be about an hour project only it's it's nothing it's real simple and uh, you can put a couple wine bottles in there set it on your countertop so I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, I make one of these every year. I make a little project. Um, here's a couple of the other ones I made over the last few years. I make these projects. We have a family reunion each year. And uh, I make these projects and then they auction them off and that's how they pay for the next uh, the next party the following year. It's kind of a neat little gig. Um, and this one, this year is a western party so this, this fits right in with the horseshoes. So subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll see more of this in the future.